Hi guys, my name is Alexis. I'm a full-time reseller on Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, ThreadUp, Buy Sell Trade Stores, and Poshmark. And this video is long overdue. This is a 25-piece mixed women's box. Um, I got this at the same time I got my previous unboxing box, both from the Pennsylvania Warehouse, both mind-blowing. I unfortunately got sick and tested positive on Christmas Day. I'm still feeling a bit fatigued and low energy energy but I can't um do anything with these clothes until I show you guys what I got just because it's so good also my next box is coming from Georgia I'm going to do a live unboxing for that just to show you guys what I got I actually got a scrap fabric box for the first time and it actually wasn't that bad from the Georgia warehouse I was really shocked I also got a t-shirt box in the handbag box. I opened all of those, but I'm just, I just feel like I can't keep up with all the boxes. I don't unbox everything on camera, so I probably won't unbox those, but they were decent. They weren't like super, super great, but the scrap fabric box was actually surprising. Anyway, let's get into this. Box. Okay, the first item is Ellie Tahari sweater. It does not have a size but it has this cool like mesh wavy detail here. And it's 100% merino wool. So I feel like this could sell just based off of the wool content. Next we have a Love Machino <clears throat> size eight. And this is the Thread Up authentication tag. Mind you, each of these things was less than $3, which is just so crazy. Just kills me how they put these types of things in the DIY designer boxes and those are like $17 each when this just came in the regular mix 25 box. No flaws on it. So there's a love machino all over it with the hearts and you can look at this and immediately tell like, yeah, that's machino and it has pockets and it's a great size next athleta size small sweater this kind of looks similar to the sweater that i'm wearing right now um just like a chunky knit sweater cool next we have a millie dress the size tag is cut out which is probably why they put this in here but again this is a designer brand that i've gotten in the designer rescue boxes um, and paid way more than two dollars for Trina Turk another designer brand size 4 green eyelet sundress and none of these things have flaws as far as I can see you have a lululemon I consistently get lululemon from the Pennsylvania warehouse this doesn't have a size I'm seeing um, could be somewhere or not, but anyway, Zara, um, this doesn't have a size, wait, it does, size medium, it was just very small, and I believe this is like a tunic shirt with ruffles or just like a very short dress, um, gray, okay. Next, J. Crew toothpick jeans, and these don't sell that well. I usually send these back to thread up. They have like some cool distressing on them. They're not like plain straight leg, but the skinny jeans have not been doing that great. And that's a small size. Okay, we have another um, item with the authentication tag. Lada Stinson medium, 100% silk. I tried this dress on for fun just to see what it's like. It's very like bohemian hippie. I've never had this um, type of dress, this brand before, um, but it's like open back. I will not be keeping it, but it is a cool dress. Seaside does not have a size, but I believe this is linen. Yeah, 100% lin linen long dress. This would be great for a beach trip. Um, obviously seaside.
Rebecca Taylor. No size, but it's like a lace dress. No flaws. BCBG Max Cesaria. Those do pretty well when I send them back to thread up. It just depends. But this does have a defect on it. So I might just send these to Goodwill. They have this like weird glue on them. I think someone did like a DIY hem on these pants. So unfortunately, those will probably go back to a thrift store. Banana Republic size 29 high rise skinny um, black jeans with a raw hem. These are actually really cute. They look new. Some black jeans. Oh, I really like this. This Madewell Sherpa lined jean jacket in size small. This is so cute. I hope someone buys this. Maywell just does not do good for me on Poshmark and ThreadUp just doesn't. Well, I take that back. Okay, some Maywell jeans do well. From the denim box, I got a ton of Maywell jeans and definitely made profit on those. But like, I had this Maywell jumpsuit that just sold. I thought it would do so well and it didn't. So I guess it's only the jeans. But since that's a jean jacket, then hopefully it does well. Okay, another Trina Turk. Sleeveless dress, like a weird design that kind of looks like airplanes, but it's not. Everlane size small, this feels like cashmere. Um, it is cashmere, 89% cashmere and 10% nylon. sweater. We have size 29 Pajal Raven. I've never heard of this brand. Burgundy shorts. These look like men's. They have like the Swedish flag on them. Sometimes I throw in men's things that they think are women's. Um, but a couple of those things are actually good. I got some Lululemon joggers that I guess they thought were women's, but they were actually men's and they sold for $80. So I wasn't mad at it. Okay, Eileen Fisher medium. This feels really soft as well. It could be rayon. I have no idea what tinsel that is. Okay. You have another Lululemon shorts and I'm sure the size tag is around here. They're just red biker shorts and they have like the unhemmed bottom here. You have another pair of Lululemon size four leggings and they have this like mesh cut out here. And another thing about Lululemon, there's a website called Lulu Fanatics and if you type in starting with W or M, the next six figures um, on the tag, it will tell you what style your item is from Lululemon. I have another good brand, Gymshark. So the Lululemon and workout items alone will pay for the box completely. So we have Carmen, size large, rayon and nylon sweater. Athleta, size small, shorts. Like a cool floral detail. A Monique dress. I don't even know the last name, but this also has another authentication tag and I received another formal dress um, from Monique that was in a designer box that I paid a lot more for. Um, but again, this was only $2 and it's size eight. It's just a mini formal dress. It's pretty cool. 
but it's so interesting to me that they put the authentication tabs on here and sent them in the 25 piece anyway. French Mauve, I'm not familiar with that brand, but does not have a size. It's like an open soft blazer. And the last thing is a Tory Burch size extra small turtleneck, another designer item. So that's everything I got in those two boxes. I was just blown away by how much they put in the 25 piece women's box. Again, this box was $65.99. That's plus tax plus shipping. And the Pennsylvania warehouse has been so consistent and so good with their quality and really grateful to live near that warehouse. However, I do still get boxes from the other warehouse like i said my next box is coming from georgia i'll do a blind reaction to um to that box and see if it's just my luck or if it's actually just the warehouse differences which i'm pretty sure all right thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought of this box go check out my other unboxing of the other box i got along with this one if you haven't already like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.